Natural resources can be a blessing for countries that are blessed with them. This, however, depends on how the God-given resources are managed. It presents a unique opportunity for the government to use the revenues to transform the nation's economy and improve the lives of the citizens. But in many countries, failure to adequately manage revenues accrued from natural resources have become a huge problem. The country Nigeria has faced significant challenges in managing the oil and gas sector as it cannot properly account for revenues from the sector. In a bid to stop corruption in the oil sector, the Extractive Industries Transparency EITI, in collaboration with Nigerian Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative NEITI, has put up an annual forum to help engage the oil and gas sector stakeholders as well as promote transparency and accountability in the discharge of their duties. Speaking at the Anti-Corruption Situation Room Forum, the former EFCC chairman Malam Nuhu Ribadu emphasizes the need for transparency in the oil and gas sector. We believe that if we have transparency in that sector, we will get accountability. And when we get accountability, we will get results, we will get benefit, we will do better. We are encouraging them to continue to do this work. And the accountability we are talking about, transparency we are talking about is whatever that is going on, let us know. Also speaking, Professor Shehu Abdullahi urged Nigerians to be inquisitive as it is their right to know what happens in the oil and gas sector. Information is a right. As far as every citizen is concerned, for you to have information about what government is earning and what government is doing about your resources is a right. So everybody should demand for such information. Because government can only be accountable when there is a very strong and resilient civil society that will put government to the toes. Stakeholders believe that Nigerians should continue to embrace transparency in the extractive sector as it is the overriding interest of the nation. Blessing tomorrow, ITV News, Abuja.